The Austro-Hungarian-owned Yeshev has been a traditionally dominant player in the railway transport of Western Transdanubia since 1876. In recent years, the length of the lines operated by the railway company has increased to 414 kilometers. At the same time, a series of energetic modernization and electrification programs have been launched, most of which were successfully completed by the beginning of 2017. The present investment combines electrification, safety improvement and development projects and integrates them into a uniform railway automation control system. The primary objective of the nearly two-year-long project is to further improve the economical and efficient operation of the railway company by means of state-of-the-art traffic management and automated modes of operation to help the dispatchers work to provide coherent information continuously for plant and traffic dispatchers, for the personnel of freight and passenger traffic control, and for the electricians and technical dispatchers to make quicker and more relevant decisions. In the new management system, the traffic of Rojka Chorna Porpats and Jur Chopron lines is controlled from the Chorna Traffic Control Center. The remote control and monitoring of the traffic for five railway lines converging in a node takes place from the Sombathe Traffic Control Center. In both control centers, two spare workplaces provide the security of availability. The Chopron Operations Management monitors the entire traffic and makes overall traffic control decisions. The overview of the whole network becomes particularly important in situations different from normal modes of operation. The Proland Process Control Company is a recognized supplier of modern railway automation systems. There are about 1,300 kilometers of railway lines in Hungary equipped with its state-of-the-art traffic and remote control systems. Proland's relationship with Yeshev has been steadily developing since the early 2000s, not only in the field of railway traffic management, but also in fields of locomotive onboard equipment and overhead line power control systems. Significant planning and development resources should be provided in the project to achieve results. Regular consultations between the customer and the contractors, the project coordination meetings serve to move the project forward and to operatively handle the problems that may arise. Of key importance for both passenger and freight transportation is that after long years of delay, funds for the electrification of the Hegyes Halon Chorna Porpats and the Sombat Hei Zalasentivan railway lines have been made available. At the end of the endeavor, the operator took acceptance of renewed modern stations and lines. During the electrification projects, stations and stops were also renovated, optical networks built, switchyard automatics and point heating installed, and local lights as well as their remote controls modernized. Prolan has delivered the renewed control systems for the Chorno, Sombathe and Chopron West traction substations, as well as the connected automation equipment of neutral and feeding phase zones and line breakers. 
Controls can be initiated from the substations either by the 61850 compatible bay units or by the local workstations. The key element of the remote control system is the Elpul Station Remote Control Unit with the necessary relay supplements. Elpult works with redundancy for safety and with a duplication for availability. Remote control and remote monitoring involve the high voltage equipment, the switchyard and phase zone automatics, as well as the point heating and illumination systems of the stations. The uninterrupted operation of the high voltage power line is provided by the electricians and dispatchers of the SCADA center in Schopron. The modern railway automation units communicate with each other and the centers through optical cable based IP networks. The required availability of the systems was implemented by built-in redundancy using hot standby methods and bypasses. In case of centralized traffic management, continuous communication with the locomotive personnel grows in importance, so a line radio system has been built up on the remotely controlled lines with the radio center and the required base stations. Instead of a conventional copper-based analog telecommunication system, a digital IP-based integrated telecommunication and passenger information system has been built. This has allowed the railway company to significantly raise the quality of passenger information at the stations and stops. Thanks to the investment, 40 stations have got state-of-the-art audio, and additionally 30 on-the-spot visual displays for real-time passenger information. Data transmission systems and control centers play an indispensable role in remote control, so equipment for their power supply had to be designed and implemented on the basis of strict regulations. Modern and ergonomic industrial furnishings help the work of technical and traffic management personnel. In the unmanned and remotely controlled stations, a fire and burglar alarm system was installed. A unique access control card, combined motion detectors, manual attack indicators, a modular expandable signaling center, and central authority management are the pride of the system. Burglary, fire and smoke alarms, operating and status alarms and alerts alongside local sound and light signals are transferred to both the servers of the central traffic control system and to those of Yeshev's central security system where they appear on floor plans and in event logs. Alarms can be acknowledged, armed and disarmed or deactivated if necessary. Two-level traffic management was established with the installation of the Sombathai Chorna traffic control centers.
and of the Chopron Operation Control Center. Strategic management and operation control are performed from Chopron. The target pointed has been achieved. Helping work efficiency through a common information base is at hand for the freight staff, the crew, locomotive traction and technical dispatchers, and for the train and network controllers. Two stations of the Yeshev network are equipped with a so-called mechanical interlocking system. The train traffic of those stations is monitored by ProLand's specially developed radio-based train detection system. From around the frontier neutral zone of the Royko to Sengotar switchyard, and from the Porpaz line breaker to Kerman substation, there are about 58 locations which are operated by ProLand automation equipment and are connected to a common energy remote control and supervisory center. The Havaria, that is emergency control center, as a geo-redundant reserve server park with a controlling workstation guarantees that in case of extraordinary events, either in a natural disaster or a catastrophe situation, its staff can perform strategic and operational management tasks. It is of utmost importance that the traffic control personnel must possess well-founded and up-to-date knowledge of the lines and stations under their control in the field of railway technology, traffic technology and engineering. This can be achieved through continuous education, training and examinations with significant assistance from the recently delivered Traffic Training and Examination Center, where the railway stations are simulated by means of a technology simulator. Both the Hungarian government and the European Union attach high importance to the development of public transport on track, so the leaders of the Ministry of National Development and of Jeshev Company expressed their appreciation for the successful completion of the investment at the system's opening ceremony. On behalf of the designers and the contractors, the ProLand Savaria Consortium say thanks to the investor and the client alike for setting up one of the most modern railway traffic control systems in Hungary.